Welcome to Savunma Turkey YouTube channel. Turkey commissioned the TCG Anadolu as its first amphibious assault ship to its navy on April 10, 2023. Turkish Navy plans to deploy the newly developed Baker Bayraktar TB3 unmanned combat aerial vehicle and Baker Bayraktar Kizil Elma unmanned combat aircraft on TCG Anadolu. In his statement during the maiden flight of the TB3 UCAV, Selçuk Bayraktar, chairman of the board of directors and technology leader of Baker Company, commented that, as soon as the Bayraktar TB3 and Kizil Elma take off from and land on short runway aircraft carriers, or when they start their duty on TCG Anadolu, they will revolutionize the history of warfare. May a revolution really occur when new unmanned systems such as TB3 and Kizil Elma join naval air wings, as claimed by Selçuk Bayraktar? As Savunma Turkey YouTube channel, we will look for an answer to this question in this video. And while searching for an answer, we will first examine the aircraft carriers in the world's navies and the fighters of air wings attached to them. As of today, a total of nine countries have aircraft carriers with naval fighter jets aboard in their navies. There are 33 aircraft carriers operating in these countries. 11 aircraft carriers of the USA and an aircraft carrier of France have the Cotobar system. Under this technique, aircraft launch using a catapult-assisted takeoff and land on the ship using arrestor wires. The length of the U.S. aircraft carriers using the Katobar system is 337 and 333 meters, while the length of the French aircraft carrier is 262 meters. In an aircraft carrier of Russia, two aircraft carriers of China, and two aircraft carriers of India, Stobar system is used for the launch and recovery of aircraft from the deck of aircraft carrier. Aircraft launch under their own power using a ski jump to assist takeoff. The planes require arrestor wires to land on the ship. The Stobar system is simpler to build than Katobar. While the length of the Russian aircraft carrier using the Stobar system is 306 meters, the length of the Chinese aircraft carriers is 306 and 305 meters. The lengths of India's aircraft carriers are 284 and 262 meters. There are neither Katobar nor Stobar systems on nine aircraft carriers of the USA, two of the UK, two of Italy, one of Spain, and two of Japan. Takeoff and landing on these ships are provided entirely by the aircraft's own short takeoff, and vertical landing capabilities. This type of aircraft needs a short runway to make the most efficient vertical takeoff. Airplanes take off on this short runway using the vertical takeoff system and landings are made completely vertically. This system is called Stavel. The length of the U.S. aircraft carriers using the Stavel system is 257 meters, the British aircraft carriers are 280 meters, the Italian aircraft carriers are 180 and 244 meters, the Spanish aircraft carrier is 231 meters, and the length of the Japanese ships, which are helicopter carriers today but will deploy F-35B aircraft in 2024, is 248 meters. F-A-18 Super Hornet fighters are deployed on U.S. aircraft carriers using the Katobar system, and Rafale M fighters are deployed on a French aircraft carrier using the same system. MiG-29K SU-33 and J-15 fighters are deployed on aircraft carriers using the Stobar system. AV-8B Harrier or F-35B fighters are deployed on aircraft carriers with the Stavel system. As it is witnessed clearly, only nine major navies among the world's navies have capacity to deploy fighters on aircraft carriers. Leaving aside the intensive use of the USA, the number of aircraft carriers of the remaining eight countries is only 13. The number of countries that can deploy their own fighters on their own aircraft carriers is only four. In addition, there are a total of 17 ships in nine countries that may serve as aircraft carriers if the appropriate aircrafts are deployed. Turkey is one of these nine countries with the TCG Anadolu ship. Currently, these ships are given many different names such as amphibious assault ships, helicopter carriers, and so on. When the lengths of these ships are examined, it is seen that the shortest is 183 meters, and the longest is 232 meters. TCG Anadolu is one of the longest ships in this group, with a length of 232 meters. These countries can still only deploy helicopters as air asset on their ships. However, a few countries, including Turkey, continue their projects to deploy unmanned systems on such ships. TB3 UCAV, developed by Baker Company, 
is actually an advanced version of the TB2 UCAV, which has gained worldwide fame and has been chosen by approximately 40 countries. The most striking feature of the TB3 UCAV is that it has folding wings. The TB3 is intended to be capable of taking off and landing from short runway aircraft carriers, performing reconnaissance, surveillance and intelligence missions, as well as performing operations with the smart ammunition it carries under its wings. In addition to line-of-sight communication, UCAV is aimed to be able to communicate beyond line of sight with SATCOM. TB3 UCAV is currently conducting flight tests. Landings and takeoffs are expected to begin in the near future on the ship model prepared on land. Tests on the TCG Anadolu ship are expected to be carried out in 2024. The second and much more important project carried out by Baker Company is the Bayraktar Kizil Elma Combat Unmanned Aircraft System. It is aimed for Kizil Elma to have an automatic landing and takeoff system, low visibility and high maneuverability, line of sight and beyond line of sight communication capability, takeoff and landing capability from short runway aircraft carriers, and high situational awareness with AESA radar. Baker foresees that the air battles of the future will be conducted with unmanned combat jets. Therefore, great importance is given to Kizil Elma. Kizil Elma is still continuing its flight and development tests. Tests on the TCG Anadolu ship are expected to be carried out in 2025. Savunma Turkiye's comment on the issue is as follows. TB3 and Kizil Elma projects carried out by Baker are now fully implemented. Both continue flight testing. Following the flight tests, it is expected that tests will be carried out on the ship, and it will become operational at TCG Anadolu in 2024 and 2025, respectively. With TB3 and Kizil Elma starting to take off and land operationally from the TCG Anadolu runway, all world navies will be introduced to alternative naval aviation. Currently, Nine countries have fighter air wings on a total of 33 aircraft carriers. These nine countries enjoy being at the top of classical naval aviation. However, if Turkey manages to create alternative naval aviation with the TB3 and Kizil Elma projects at TCG Anadolu, there are total 16 more ships without suitable aircraft ready to immediately repeat this success. It seems possible for these total 17 ships to adapt alternative naval aviation in a much shorter time and cost than the current classical naval aviation. Thus, in a very short time, the number of countries with aircraft carriers may increase by 67% to 15 and the number of aircraft carriers may increase by 51% to 50. This is a significant development that will trigger all the world's navies and force them to recalculate all their plans. However, it is thought that the invisible part of the iceberg is that there are countries that do not currently have aircraft carriers or helicopter carriers in their navies for various reasons, but will assess alternative naval aviation as an opportunity since it is more accessible than classical naval aviation. It will not be a surprise to witness a rush to alternative naval aviation with the interest of countries that consider new, more affordable, and accessible naval aviation as an opportunity. As a result of this interest, a transformation may occur that Selchik Bayraktar describes as a revolution, which will dethrone classical naval aviation and lead to unmanned naval aviation, which we currently define as alternative naval aviation, to be accepted as the main naval aviation. Our video ends here. In this video, we examine today's naval aviation and the effects that new unmanned systems such as TB3 and Kizil Elma will create when they join naval aviation. Please feel free to make your comments about our video in the comments section. And if you like to keep receiving videos of defense subjects, you may subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savuma Turkey channel. Goodbye.